Hey guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you the Thunder Smart Mule on my latest EV3 creation. So this is the Thunder Smart Muon. It is a six-wheel drive off-road EV3 truck, and I got inspiration to build this after I saw the Mercedes-Benz six-wheel drive AMG G-Wagon, whatever it's called, in a car magazine a few years back. I was like, that is so cool. I want to build something like that. And so this is essentially a larger six-wheel drive version of the Thunder Smart 3. I wanted to make this one look a little bit different from the 3, but I ended up with something that basically looks almost exactly the same. It's just a bigger version. And I went with a kind of like a pickup truck style in the back here, just because it wouldn't look like it would look elongated and weird if I didn't. It's overall, it's a very flat surface to make it um, very muscle car looking. And in the front, here you have the Thunder Charger, and on top, the, the, the Lightning Rod, which are two signature styling aspects of the Thunder Smart 3. And in the front, on the front bumper here, we have a push guard and a winch, two little fake details to make it look more like an off-roader. So now I'll discuss with you the steering of the Thunder Smart Muon. In the beginning of the program, the steering centers itself using one of my, my blocks that I've made. And then after that, you can control it with the remote like this, and it's returned to center. So when you're not giving it a command to steer, it'll go back to center. The steering is driven by an EV3 medium motor, and it's a rack and pinion type of system, as you'll see here. It's very conventional rack and pinion. It's not like in the Thunder Smart 3 where I had the longitudinal rack to save space. And now if we turn the car upside down, you can see that the architecture of the steering is a lot like the Thunder Smart 3s. All right, so now for the drivetrain, which is definitely the most interesting part of the car. Uh, as you remember, it is six wheel drive, so we have three axles. And the biggest challenge was getting power from the two drive motors, which are here and here, down to all six wheels. And how it does it is these two drive motors here are hard coupled to one another through the shaft, and then the power is routed out on a 90 degree angle through a th 1 to 3 gear ratio. Then, that from that shaft, these two gears bring it down to these axles here, in between the axle, I'll note, and then uh, there, a th second shaft comes down here to power the front axle like that. And I'll turn on the program so now you can see it in action. The other thing is that there is a differential on all three axles. However, the back two differentials are special, and now we'll go over that. Okay, so I am very pleased to announce that the Thunder Smart Muon features my first ever locking differential system. And how this works is that above each of these two differentials, there's a solid shaft that runs across like this. And this wheel is always meshed with the solid shaft through this gear system. However, this side contains a clutch gear, so this becomes the deciding factor of whether or not these two wheels lock together. When the synchro is slid into this clutch gear, like it is now, these two wheels are locked together and they, they can't turn independently. But when the synchro slides out like it is now, now you can see I can spin them independently from each other. And uh, the sliding of the synchros is accomplished by an EV3 medium motor up here which has a whole lever system and a rod that transmits its power to these gear forks and it makes the gear forks slide these synchros back and forth. The Thunder Smart Muon employs four fully functional RC programs. All of these programs allow you to control throttle, return to center steering, and automatically control the locking and unlocking of the differentials. However, these four programs differ under the conditions by which they lock the differentials. So I'll go over each of the programs right now. The first program is Auto, which automatically locks the differentials when the ThunderSmart new one drives straight and then unlocks them when you go to steer. The next program is Off-Road, which will keep the differentials unlocked until the inboard gyro sensor 
senses a tilt of plus or minus five degrees. And this is to simulate as if you were off-roading and you were going over rocks and you needed to lock the differentials to drive over them so you wouldn't lose power. The third program is race mode, which just keeps the differentials open at all times because I found that the differential locking system actually kind of saps some power from the rest of the car. So the differentials are open at all time to conserve the car's power to make it go faster. The last program is Police, which is just the same as Auto, except now it has the addition of flashing lights and a, a siren. So now I'll show you some video of the Thunderspark Muon driving around in race mode. So, in conclusion, I'm very satisfied with the Thunder Smart Muon. I really built it because I got bored of building with four-wheel drive, and it features my first ever locking differential system. Now, around my little racetrack that I made, it set an official lap time of 36.27 seconds in race mode, which is not particularly fast, but hey, what do you expect out of six-wheel drive? So, I hope you enjoyed learning about the Thunder Smart Muon. This is BuilderDude35 signing off. See you next time, guys.